Now, what goes well with honey is tea. And uh, it's, it's a standard Russian tradition to have tea with your honey. And since you have chopsticks and you're in zero gravity, you can eat your tea with chopsticks, which I'm about to demonstrate here. So you, you have a tea bag there, and it, it's not a tea bag, but a bag of tea. And you just take your chopsticks and use your service station contact wedding angle. You just pick up a blob of tea with your chopsticks, and you can, you can eat your tea. Again, this is a, a practical demonstration for uh, all this uh, uh, contact wedding angle, surface tension, uh, surface chemistry stuff you learn in college. And here's a close-up showing you, you push out a big blob, a spherical blob of tea, and it just jumps under the chopstick, and then you can just uh, 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 move them right to where you want. And look at the, the curvature and surface of the honey in the can. It, it's, it's not deep enough now to be a parabolic surface, but if you open up a fresh can of honey and look at it, uh, you'll see that it, look, it looks like it's nice and curved, and, and we know that it, it should take on a parabolic profile. Actually, the, the curved surface of the honey should be hemispherical, not parabolic. The parabolic profile is if you have a rotating container of liquid in uh, a gravity.